Hi guys, I was fixing a desktop computer and it's almost ready. The desktop is fixed, the power supply, the motherboard and the monitor, but uh, the mouse, uh, there is a little problem with it. If I touch the connector, the mouse turns off. It is broken right here in the connector. Something that I hate is to transfer the problem to the client saying, OK, your computer is ready, but you have to go out and buy a mouse for it. I do not for some merchandise, so I cannot give a new mouse. And one problem on the way is I don't have another USB uh, cable to replace it. What I have is a PS2 cable and I will have to adapt it. So let's learn how to do it. Remember you can always download a diagram with a pin out for the connector. In my case I will make it in another way. First thing I'm going to do is to turn the connector with a flat area down because it's easier to handle and to make measurements with the continuity tester. Uh, just for the information, it has six pins and it's the green color because it's the mouse connector and pin one is here, two, three, four, five, six uh, in this order. But I'm going to do it in my way. Here it's easier to hold it in the table when you're using the test leads and what you see in the drawing is the drawing of this connector in the position I have it. First thing I have to identify here is the 5 volts and the ground. I will have another two leads, uh, the cables, they are for the data plus and data minus. I don't know which one is it and right now I don't care. What is important is to identify the 5 volts and the ground because if I make a mistake I will probably make a damage in the desktop computer, laptop and in the mouse too. So once that I got these two guys, the positive and the negative for the power supply, I will go for next step. I will disconnect the mouse and I want you to pay attention to the following thing. Positive always is connected to a capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, in parallel with the negative. We will also have a ceramic capacitor for uh, filtering the noise. In this case, it's very easy to identify because they are close. And we'll see it when I flip the board. And the negative always has the maximum area in the printer circuit board. So let's do it. They are not always in the same position and that's the reason why I'm not talking which uh, number in the connector or the color of the cable. As we can see here, the electrolytic capacitor is in parallel with these two pins. and the ceramic capacitor is in parallel to these two pins too. Also, the negative, as I said, has the major area in the printed circuit board. Okay. This is for the chassis or the ground, and this is the cable for the negative. So now that I identify the positive and the negative, I can place my new PS2 connector in the right polarization, and I don't care about the data plus and data minus, because what I'm going to do is, by test and error, to connect it in either way. If they don't work, I will switch it to the other without making any damage to anywhere.
I was lucky that my connectors they match the pins but the cables they don't match it so I will have to disconnect the cables and put them in the right way if your connector doesn't match the pins you will have to cut the cable and you solder with the printer circuit board so the way to do it I already did it I place them in the right position but just for you to know it is you have to move a little bit the plastic in the lock and you can pull the cable out place them in the right positions as I said be careful always with the positive and the negative and the other two you will do it by test and error if you don't have the diagram if you get the diagrams okay you are done if not that's the fast and furious way to do it now that I place negative and positive positive and negative and I try the other two by testing my mouse is ready to work and let's watch it how does it behave in the desktop computer okay the mouse is connected to the desktop computer and as we can watch here is working now with the ps2 connector uh, new technology they are ps2 and usb compatible some old technology they can't do it and by the way in this uh, motherboard i only have to connect it i saw another cases where the motherboard has a jumper next to the ps2 connector to adapt to usb or ps2 so pay attention if you have to move a jumper in your motherboard okay guys this mouse is doing its job and i pass it from usb to ps2 thanks by watching